What's good y'all? Welcome back. Today we're going to be reacting to Home Invasion Horror Story animated by Llama Arts. Now y'all have been asking for like different type of like horror story type deals. So I'm trying out some new people that y'all suggested in the comments. I hope y'all like these uh, and I hope you guys continue to like the horror stuff because I like the horror stuff. Let's get into the video. It was a cold, foggy evening when I contacted a close friend of mine to stay at my place for the night. Both of us were only 10 years old at the time, and my parents were often at work until midnight, this so I was like usually alone with shit. nothing to do except watching a television show or reading a book. My friend Alex had agreed to come over and brought a game of Monopoly to pass some of the time. I also asked if he was interested in going to explore an abandoned subway station three miles away. What type of weird he seemed shit? excited at first, so we planned to go on the trip in the morning. I remembered that the subway dated back to the mid-1920s and became abandoned in 1932 after the market crash in 1929. Okay, I was a lot very of facts. fascinated about its history, but never got the chance to go inside after my parents had warned me not to enter. As I quietly slept in my bed, I heard what sounded like a gunshot coming from the forest behind the house. Both of us woke up frightened after what we had heard, and I told my friend not to worry as hunters tend to go into the forest on frequent occasions, but when I checked the time, it was 11.39pm. This seemed very unusual as hunters only came into the forest between 8pm and 10pm. I looked at Alex and decided to get out of my bed, intending to look through the window and spot for anyone in the forest. The darkness clouded my vision so I was unable to see anyone in the forest. I turned around and looked at Alex again, when suddenly I heard the front door squeak open. Bro, Chills went down to my spine. Door, Both of us quietly moved to the bathroom, locked the door, and kept the light off. It you was the only safe on. place in the house. Both of us were terrified as we desperately tried to keep as calm as we could. We heard footsteps getting louder and louder until they stopped in front of the bathroom door. And then this is when the most terrifying sound forced my heart to almost burst. Both of us screamed as the person chopped the door to pieces. Nigga, huh? It was pitch black inside the room, making it oh, hard to find the vent. And shit. by the time I spotted the vent, the person behind the door had made a hole Bro, big enough for us to see him. Mask? Or, the man uh, adorned black leather and was wearing a plague doctor mask. I scurried back to the vent, but it was too high above the floor for us to Bro, reach it. So Alex told me to shit. go first because he was the strongest. He lifted me up on his shoulders, allowing me to open the vent and crawl inside. When I looked at the door again, the man had managed to fit his arm through the hole and reached for the lock. Come on, my nigga, I you ain't got time to be doing this bullshit. Hand, but struggled to pull him up into the vent. Bruh! Oh! I shouted and began going after him. I pursued the figure until I was led to the abandoned subway deep within the forest. It was chilly and foggy, meaning that I could only see objects within a range of five or six yards. Inside the subway was a pool of freezing cold water. It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. I had to rely on listening to the screams shit? from Alex and track the source. As I slowly walked through the subway, I was now struggling to breathe under the intense stress and fear of the situation. I called, but there was no like response. Taken? I continued walking through the water until the exit was no longer visible. I was now experiencing a massive panic attack. I had lost track of Alex, and I had no idea where I was or how to get out. Where are you, Alex? Bro, that's it? Dude, what the fuck? Alex was confirmed dead after he was found inside the ticket... That's fucked. His closest friend remains missing. Dude, what? I really hope all this shit is just story and it's not like some true shit that like people put online, but that shit is crazy. That is crazy, dude. If only he was just a little bit stronger and a little bit quicker not looking at the fucking door while dude's breaking in, his friend probably wouldn't have got took. In that type of situation, what would y'all do? Like, I'm trying to think, like, this nigga has a machete. He's breaking the door down with it. Or whatever the fuck type of weapon he had in his hand, breaking the door down with it. My phone always going off now. Um, Like, what do you have in a bathroom that can be used as a fucking plunger? 
Because think about it. If he only used it to get through the door and didn't kill y'all immediately, y'all could have probably fought back. But then y'all probably would have just died sooner. I don't know. It's a tough situation, but fuck, holy shit. I kind of like this shit. The animation was really nice, too. So we might start reacting to Llama Arts a little bit more. Um, if you guys like the reaction, let me know down in the comments. Original video link will be down in the description. Code criteria in the item shop, and I will see y'all in the next reaction. I love y'all. Peace. I'ma pull up in that new thing, feeling like I'm Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I get more money than your man. So baby, hop up in my new thing, put you on some new things. Hopefully, your man, I'll